Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a tricky question from a developer working with Android and PC communication over Wi-Fi. The question is, how can I tell if I'm still listening on a socket in Android? Let's break down the issue. Our viewer has an Android device communicating with a PC using TCP. Everything works well until there's a minute of inactivity. After that, the PC sends a packet, but the Android responds with a reset signal, indicating it's no longer listening. This leads to confusion and potential data loss. All right guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To determine if your Android device is still listening on a socket, we need to understand the behavior of TCP connections. When there is no traffic for a minute, the connection may time out. One way to keep the connection alive is to implement a heartbeat mechanism. This involves periodically sending small packets to ensure the connection remains active. In your code, you can use a timer or scheduled executor service to send these heartbeat packets. Here's a simple example of how to implement this. Additionally, you can check the socket's status by attempting to read from it. If the read operation fails, it indicates that the socket is no longer listening. Finally, ensure that your socket is configured correctly. Setting TCP node lay can help reduce latency, but it won't prevent timeouts. Here's how you can set it. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To check if you're still listening on a socket in Android, you need to communicate between your Android device and a PC. If your Android device sends a RST flag, it indicates that no service is available on the addressed port. To detect this flag and the unavailable service programmatically, you should create your own TCP datagram using a raw socket interface. This allows you to analyze the headers of the datagram. Keep in mind that implementing such a socket requires administrative privileges, which you likely have on the PC side. For more information, check the link provided. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one.